Hello everyone. Today I will be giving demo on how you can use Kaggle notebooks for your I643 projects experiment. So Kaggle is uh, alternative of Google Colab which provides you 30 hours of GPU quota per week which you can check here. To get into Kaggle you have to use the link kaggle.com and then register using your email id and if you want gpu access you have to verify your mobile number also after you have registered to the kaggle you will see a screen like this so kaggle uh, is a platform that hosts machine learning competitions it also allows you to share your data sets to the community and retain models to the community so if you go to the competition section, you can find list of active competitions here. So there are currently a lot of competitions going on. And you can see the prize pool of these competitions is very huge. Another tab is data sets tab where you can create your own data sets and share it with Kaggle community. So to create a new data set, you have to go to new data sets option and then upload your data set as a zip file here. There is another tab of models where you can share your trained models. But the option which we will be exploring is code option, which lets you to create Kaggle notebooks and use GPU to run experiments. Here I have set up a notebook, a Kaggle notebook, uh, which uses MDIS dataset and train a digit recognition system using convolution neural networks. You are familiar with MDIS dataset and we have seen this dataset in the demos before. This notebook is based on TensorFlow Keras, but uh, but you can use any framework of your choice. The main motive of this demo is not to uh, explain the code, but rather to explain how we can use Kaggle notebooks. To run our experiments, we require data, and to load the data, we have to go to this right panel. And then in the data tab, we can add a data set using this pattern. So when we add when we click on this add data button, then we get this window and we can search for our data set here. So if I want to use digit recognition, then I will search for that and we can find that data set. So if you are using your, if you have uploaded your own data set, then it, you can find it in your data sets option. So as you can see, I have uploaded some data sets yeah, and these data sets are showing in this table. You can also load output of your previously run notebook. So if in some notebook you have trained a neural network and you want those weights to be loaded in this notebook, then you save those weights in that notebook and you can load the output of that notebook here by clicking on this button. So data part is done. Now data has been added in the in in the notebook. Now since we have loaded our data set in Kaggle notebook, we can copy the path of the file that we want to load. So for example, if I want to load this csv file, I can just click on this copy path button. After clicking on that, the path of that file will be copied and I can read contents from it. So for example here, since these are CSV files, I am using pandas.readCSV function to read the, to read these CSV files. So I can just paste the path of the file here and then we can load the data from the data set. Now another option to explore is this notebooks option where we can set the device which we want to use. Currently, this accelerator option is set to null. So 
by default we will use cpu to run our experiment but if you want to use gpu then you can switch it by clicking on that and here are two gpus that kaggle provides you can use either of them either use google t4 or p100 so kaggle provides two G, uh, t4 instances in a single notebook which is very nice and there is also tpu available and, but we will be only covering gpu based training here so i will be setting gpu to on Another option to look at is internet. So sometimes we want to load a pretend model from the internet, or uh, we want to clone a GitHub repo here. To do that, we require internet, and it is by default off. But if we want to use uh, use internet, we can switch it to on. So while downloading anything from internet, please make sure that this internet button is on. Now. Everything is set from this side. You can explore other options by on your own. But I have explained all the necessary options. To start a session, you can click on this button, this power button. And when I click on this power button, my session will start and it will create a kernel. Now the session has been started. And we can see status of our session above. So we can see that uh, it provides 73 GB of disk space. And we can save a lot of models or logs in the Kaggle itself. It also provides 13 GB of RAM and 14 GB of GPU because we are using T4 GPU. So T4 has 14.8 GB VRAM and since we have two T4 GPUs in this notebook so every every GPU instance is of 14.8 GB so to run uh, to run this notebook you can use we will run it cell by cell we can use this button or we can use shift plus enter keyboard combination similar to google colab the code, I will not explain the code, I will just run the code to show that this notebooks run. Here I am defining a model which is a convolution neural network. And I am combining the model, creating data sets, data generators, and then some callbacks for saving the model and then training the model so here epochs i will reduce the epochs to say three and then i will run the notebook now after three epochs we are plotting and saving the train model and then doing the prediction part here you can see the first row this sample is wrongly predicted this for three pulse this model is giving decent validation accuracy around point one six this is good now to save the outputs of this uh, notebook we can use save button and then here we have two options one is save and run all and commit is written in the brackets another is quick save so sometimes uh, we want uh, so sometimes our experiments will take longer to run here i am using only three epochs if i have to use 200 epochs then it might take longer time so it, it take it it would take around like one hour to run this whole notebook but if kaggle finds that you are inactive for half an hour it will automatically shut off the session so to prevent that uh, what we can do is we 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 can save this version and commit it when we commit it will create a new version of this notebook 
and then run this whole code in the backend server. So after it has run the whole notebook, it will save all the outputs and the logs, and it will show it will show here in the version history tab. So to go to the version history tab, so to go to the version version history tab, we can click on this button. It will take us to version history tab. So here I have four versions of this notebook, and each version took like this version took around one hour and thirty nine seconds. Around one hour. And if we go to the viewer. We will see a window like this. It has saved. It has run the notebook in the backend and saved all the outputs here. So we have run this notebook for around thirty epochs, and then it only stopped. We have saved and run the prediction part. In the out in the output section, you will find the outputs of the outputs. Of the notebook, so you can download the best model that we have saved by just clicking on this download button, or you can also download your CSV file, the output CSV file, by clicking on this button. You can also download all the things by just clicking on the download output. Button. So after training, uh, everything will be saved in the output tab. Output tab. The input tab will contains the data set, and the notebook is the version of the notebook that you are using currently. So for longer runs, uh, I would prefer you first first uh, run for smaller epochs, for example, ten epochs, and then check if your code is getting any errors or not, and then stop this session after you have checked that you. Are not getting any errors with this code. You just stop your uh, session here, and then save a version and commit it. Before committing, make sure you increase your epochs to two hundred or some larger number, and then save and commit. You should also use. Callbacks like early stopping, so that so that it automatically stops the training if your model is not improving. Uh, so you are not wasting unnecessary resources and your GPU quota. After saving the model, you will get this tab and you can download your models from here. So this is how you can run Kaggle. Uh, how you can use Kaggle. Notebooks to run your experiments. For longer experiments, use save version and save version with commit, so that it will run in the backend and you do not have to sit in front of your laptop for long. Time. Now I will show you how I have set up my own project i six four three project last year, and I only use Kaggle notebooks for all the experiments. So. My project was DSTA GNN for traffic flow prediction. For that, I first forked the author code in my own GitHub repository. This is the original code by the author. If you click in the fork button, this code will be copied in your GitHub repository, and then you can make changes on your own GitHub repository. To clone this repository. You can just copy the link from here and then just paste it here and make sure internet is enabled in the notebook. Then this repository will be cloned in the notebook. Now all the and then I have used this repo and run my experiments. Now sometimes we want uh, we want some part of the code to be loaded as modules. So, so for example, if we go inside the models folder, here we have files like dstagnn underscore my, and I want to import it as module. 
to do that we have to use these two piece of code so first we will import the sys module and then we will add our repository path in the sys so after that we can load uh, the scripts like modules as you can see so uh, i have loaded model dot datsgenn.py as a module and here uh, i want to load like for example some scripts like i want to load data loader utils so i can load this easily now and then run my experiments another uh, another demo i want to show is if from the previous i506 course project so this project is purely script based project so for every experiment there is a script associated and to run that those scripts i use kaggle uh, notebooks so first similar i have similarly i have cloned the repo and then just i was running those scripts so here i so here in this notebook i am just running those scripts using this bash bash command so you can either run the scripts or write the code or use combination of both anyway is so that's all from my side and thank you